We start in the capital region where torrential downpours are disrupting traffic amid the risk of flooding. For more on this, I have our Shin Yeun standing by. Yeun, so the monsoon is making landfall here in this part of the world, right? That's right, Sunny. For the first time in two years, Tamsu Bridge, which crosses the Han River in central Seoul, has been closed off. And that's because authorities have opened up around 10 water gates at the Paitang Dam as a precautionary step to prevent flooding. As of 9 o'clock this morning, Paitang Dam was discharging close to 7,000 tons of water per second. The last time Tamsu Bridge was closed off in the summer of 2020, it was completely underwater for 10 days. And back then, water levels peaked at over 11 meters. Right now, the water level isn't that high, but it's still over 6.5 meters, submerging part of the bridge. And large streams have also been overflowing with water, closing off some highways. Tongbu Expressway, a 32-kilometer long road connecting the northeast of the capital to Gyeonggi-do province, has been closed off yet again. Officials had closed the road this morning, but they reopened it at around 11.30 a.m. when it seemed like the sky was clearing up. Just three hours later, they then closed it once again because the stream next to the road was overflowing. Because of this situation, we've been seeing major traffic congestion. As of 9 a.m., cars in Seoul were driving at an average speed level of just 14.7 kilometers per hour. Right. Yeah, do we know how long this wet weather will persist? Well, Sunny, a few days ago, the Korea Meteorological Administration originally predicted that by this afternoon, skies would start to clear up. But during a briefing this morning, they said it's really hard to accurately predict the weather in the coming days because of the rapidly moving rain clouds. What they're thinking so far is that between now and tomorrow morning, we'll see 150 millimeters of rain in the greater capital region. Chungcheongdo and Gangwondo province, on the other hand, will see less rain. And over the weekend, the weather will take a completely different turn, it's expected to be very humid and incredibly hot. Then from next Monday, we're expecting to see rain again, and this time towards the southern part of the country. Officials have also asked people to stay away from streams and rivers and to avoid mountainous regions at risk of landslides. That's all I have for you now. Back to you, Sunny.